that you are here to bring value glory to God because all of us are sojourners and pilgrims all of us somebody said all of us have to take this path through time for the Bible tells us there's appointed unto man once to die and after that the judgment and we were born a man at a distinct time we're gonna die at a distinct time amen but what you do with the time that you spend in between is so valuable and so precious glory to God we have to begin to mark our time and our journey by passion glory somebody say we got to mark our time and our journey by passion we don't have time to just haphazardly walk through life we don't have time to just get up in the morning and act like there's no predetermined will and counsel and place for our life we ought to know where we were going hallelujah and we ought to be seeking God how are we gonna get there that means we got to follow hard after God that he might give us direction that he might give us the things that we need to fulfill the purpose and the allotment of time that he has purposed in our life I don't have no time to waste any longer that ought to be all of our testimony for us that are above 40 glory to God they say the Bible tells us that God said he'd give us three score and ten that's 70 years and if by reasonable chance he may extend our days but if we 40 we know right now we got about 30 years hallelujah to make our mark or our impact on society I don't know about you all but I want when people look back over my life that they realize that I was not a waste of their time the only way we can mark our value and what we've done in this passage is how did we impact other people's vision of us and and most of the time brother Lawrence if we're going to impact somebody's vision it is what we have done with the time that God allowed us to rest in their life I want people amen that have deposited into us people of God I want your pastors your leaders your school teachers the boss on the job that is investing glory in your destiny to realize that your time has been marked by success I don't want any of us to leave here today thinking that just because we have life and liberty that we don't have a, 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 a something to do with it you got to make value of your time the Bible says teach us to number our days that we may incline our heart to wisdom glory to God wisdom becomes the appropriate thing by which glory to God God uses our life to discern how we're going to make it out of here how we're going to make it how we're going to make it God is saying I'm not going to let your lack of education be your excuse for not impacting your time here I'm not going to let your money be an excuse or your lack of money for you not being able to impact your time here but wisdom is the principal thing how do I discern my time all you need to know is what season it is in your life when you understand it's a time to pray do you want to get on your knees and pray when you understand it's a time to go to war do you want to go to war so so what we learn how to do by wisdom we learn how to moderate what we do with the course of time that we are walking in I don't care where you came from God will give you wisdom for your day when you get up in the morning he'll give you wisdom how to map out your course one of the things that we lack in doing brother Daryl we lack a man in understanding transition we lack an understanding of transition it is nothing like a man going to work and working a 12-hour shift brother Lawrence and give yourself no transition time from the job to the house y'all not gonna talk to me because because when we work all day long brother Al 
and we deal with the frustrations of this world and even though we take God to work with us there is still a human side of our life amen and we want to walk in the door and we want to walk in the door after transition that means we don't want to bring all of the anger from the job into the house we don't want to bring the calamity of our day into our bedroom we don't want to bring the pressure of our day to the dinner table because now we can't be productive the way we need to do at the allotted time that we can make full use of our time we were talking about balance earlier today and it's not that we stop being who we are but things situations and cares of this world have a way of affecting us and it is through transition that God allows us to make more valuable use of our passage or our seat I've learned how to transition hallelujah from the office to my home and in the midst of transitioning from the office to my home I learned how to transition even from the office to my car y'all not going to help me because it is nothing like getting in your car with all the problems of the office on your mind and now you miss a red light and has just destroyed somebody's life because you didn't realize that I'm in the workplace but I don't need to take it with me I'm frustrated but I'm going to transition because every second of my day I got to be an impact player do not walk through life through time without leaving worthy evidence of your passage